And if there's ever been a time to put time in a bottle, it's probably this last year. So we thought, why not make a time capsule where we can shove all of the reminders of what the year looked like? And who better than DIY guru Christian to show us how to make our very own time capsule. Christian, I cannot wait to see what fun and innovative ideas uh, you've come up with us to bury all of these mementos. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a great year to do a time capsule. I think a lot of people, when you think of time capsule, you think of burying it in the backyard. Now, I'm sure once I said the word backyard, you all looked outside and saw all that snow. <laughs> it's frozen. Good luck burying a backyard right now, right? So I thought, why not? And if you're going to bury it outside, you actually have to make sure it's waterproof and rustproof, which means you probably have to work with metal. And I don't know about UT, but I'm not really a welder. I mean, I still remember my childhood fantasy. I call it my flash dance fantasy. <laughs> Welder by day, dancer by night. Yeah. That ain't this lifetime. So I thought, why not make some simple ones with items you already have at home? You can do it with the family. It takes half a day. Store it in your attic, the back of the closet. And make it easy, right? And just, I promise you, you already have all these items at home already. Okay, well, I'm going to let them know what they need for your first one because you're going to make a few of them. It's called Bottle It Up. So you need a recycled jar or a bottle with a lid, elastic bands, craft paint, masking tape, a craft knife, a paintbrush, mm -hmm. paper and home printer, and some craft glue. Okay, how do we start? So the first thing for this one, it literally is bottle up because it's going in an old bottle. So you can recycle either like an old sauce jar or a big pickle jar. I grabbed a plastic container because I'm going to skip carbs in 2021. We'll see if that works. <laughs> um, and we're basically going to dip it in some paint and give it a time capsule stamp on it. So the first step is getting a dipped paint look, which can be tricky, but this is my trick. You actually use an elastic band along the bottom to make your sort of rough edge that you would get from paint drips, right? Grab any paint you have at home, Trace. I use craft paint. If you've got leftover home paint, that will work as well. It just depends what kind of paint you use, how many coats you'll have to do. So I think for mine, I did about three or four to get it solid blue. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a stencil, a time stamp stencil on it for 2020, right? I'm actually gonna use some simple painter's tape for that trick. You're gonna draw out with a pencil, 2020. You're just gonna actually cut it out so you get an actual stencil of the number 2020. You're gonna stick it on your bottle. So just like that, really simple. Make sure all the edges are flush. And then again, you're gonna paint that in. Let it dry overnight, peel it off. Once you've done all those steps, you should have doo -doo -doo -doo, this guy after night. Peel off our tape. This you should cut off because otherwise it'll stick to it. You can cut this guy off and you've got your little container. Wow. Of course, you're going to want to fill it up with whatever momentums you have at home. So I fill it up with a bunch of different things. Screw on your top. And then last but not least, I love to make a little seal for it, right? So no one gets their little hands inside. <laughs> so with my home printer, I just print off this little label that says, do not open till January 1st, 2025. And you're going to stick it on the top with some craft glue. So it's basically sealed for eternity, I guess, or at least till 2025 with all your memories inside. Very cool. I love it. And now what have you got for us next? So the second one, I thought, what do you have lying around the house? And to be honest, I have lots of shoe boxes. Mm. So this one's almost like a gift to yourself, a gift to your future self. You're basically going to wrap a gift. So it's really easy. Well, I love gifts to myself. Tell me more. Don't we all? So this one you're going to make with actually some really simple wrap at home. So the first step is to pre-cut your wrap and you're actually going to make custom wraps. So you're going to grab some paint markers or paint or anything you want and make any sort of design trace. This is great to get the kids involved. I did a little pre-work for us and did my own little abstract print. It's just all M's and X's, which 2020 in Roman numerals is MMXX. You're going to grab your shoebox. Remember to take off the price sticker. So your husband and, par and uh, kids don't know how much you pay for those shoes. And you're going to wrap it, Trace. Really simple, simple wrapping. I know you can do this, Tracy. <laughs> oh, I can totally do that. Okay, so you're, that's it. That's the whole project. Put that aside and open it up in a few years. Yeah. Put it aside. Yeah. Stick on a little label I printed out on the computer. It says, do not open until this. And you just pack it away somewhere in your closet, right? Easy, easy. Totally easy. Okay, your last project. Tell us about that. So the last project 
was kind of a request from the City Line team to make something <laughs> bigger. So I didn't want to build something because I know we all aren't really that great at builders. So I actually did and sourced a giant box from Ikea. <laughs> really easy. So if you can build Ikea, you can build this guy. So it's just a plywood box. You're going to cut them cut out for you at the lumber yard, a lid. So this is the lid just out of MDF plywood also. And then we're going to put a number on the front and your name on the top. So just using some peel and stick letters, I put my name on top, really easy. And then the paint technique that I did on the box is actually called dump painting. It sounds scary, Trace, but you literally are just going to dump paint on this. Okay. Any color of paint you want. Every color, it looks messy. The kids are going to love this, <laughs> right? And then you're just going to roll it around back and forth, and you'll see they'll start to combine. Now, the trick with this is 30, 30 minutes in, you're going to peel off the letters, because otherwise you get stuck in there, and you will get a beautiful finished box. Oh, With your wow. painting. Really easy. Yes. Did you make your own? Trace, well, I heard you were making one in the studio. Why I made this one? I would love to say that I made this all on my own, but people are going to take one look at this and say, oh, so I guess Christian made one for Tracy. So take a look at the beautiful <laughs> one I have here in studio. It is gorgeous. It's the, the beautiful paint uh, dripped all together. It is colorful. This one says City Line 2020 because we have a lot to talk about. You have done a really good job on these DIYs. We're actually gonna add our memories to these time capsules in just a minute, so stay with us, okay?